a man who tried to kill a man who he blamed for his son's death, has been jailed for 30 years. The grieving father, Samson Price, 48, left Patrick Brown millimetres from death after stabbing him with a machete up to 20 times outside Pure Gym in Northwich, Cheshire in September 2021. He wrongly thought Mr Brown was involved in the death of his son, Samson Price Jr., 18, who drowned in a pond in Wigan a year earlier after it is believed he took LSD. Police teams concluded his death was an accident, but Price refused to accept it and began stalking Mr Brown after he was released without charge. The court heard how the dad used a tracking device to find Mr Brown and lay in wait outside the gym before committing the acts of brutal violence against him in broad daylight. Samson Price was heard screaming and shouting, I'll kill you, while his victim pleaded for mercy and said he didn't do anything, he was innocent. Mr Brown suffered wounds to his head, face and back and one of his arms and his right leg was also injured. One of the blows severed his femur bone and only just missed a major artery which could have killed him within minutes. He was very lucky to be alive. Samson Price ran off after the brutal and savage attack and remained at large for three weeks before eventually handing himself in at a police station. He was later found guilty of attempted murder at his trial. In a victim impact statement, Mr Brown said he thought he was going to die during the vicious attack. He said the incident has changed me massively and turned my life around completely. I no longer feel safe in public or in my home. I suffer from panic attacks, anxiety attacks and can no longer do anything on my own. I have lost my sense of independence. Judge Michael Lehman said Samson Price still posed a significant risk of causing significant harm to Mr Brown, telling him there was no justification for you metting out your own form of summary justice. Patrick Brown was not responsible for your son's death. The judge then sentenced Samsung Price to 30 years in prison, including three years on extended licence. Following the sentencing, Detective Constable John Corrigan said this was an absolutely terrifying ordeal for the victim and I welcome the sentence that has been handed down. While I have sympathy for Price following the death of his son, there is no excuse for the actions he took on the night of the attack. It was brutal and savage. Price attacked the victim from behind, leaving him totally defenceless and specifically hit his leg to demobilise him. The attack lasted just 23 seconds, but during that time, we estimate that the victim was stabbed between 15 and 20 times, including multiple wounds to his head, arms and right leg. I have no doubt that had it not been for the assistance provided to the victim by the public, along with a swift response of officers and paramedics, the outcome of this case could have been very different, and it must have been awful for anyone who witnessed it. Please like and comment and subscribe. Thanks.